I was going to start taking notes. So we're here for Inspire Hour, um, and I was sharing with Becky that I am working right now on um, not saying yes to things right away. I tend to just want to say yes to everything, and then I, um, you know, I don't really have the energy for all of the things that I say yes to, and I'm working on that and channeling my energy to all of the things that I've decided are the priorities in my life. So a friend of mine asked me to teach some art classes at her art store, and I'm super excited about that. And I did a great job not saying yes right away. And what I'm struggling with now is having to say no to things that I really want to do. But there's just not enough hours in the day. And it's really hard. <laughs> do you have any thoughts about that? Hmm. Well, <clears throat> I love, I love that you said celebrate it, right? You're figuring that out because I think that really does um, put us in the right direction. And um, I put it in the, the notes too. You were saying to not, you know, to stay away from, you said not say yes. Mm -hmm. So I put in there thinking through the yes, like yeah. thinking through our yes. Um, and I'm really an energy of like, it needs to be a F yes or a hell yes. You know, it has to be like a full body yes for me right now for me to say yes to something. And I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we're at 10 past. So we're going to come back to this. Oh, awesome. sure. And I'm trying to pause the recording with my mouse, which is connected to my other computer. Oh, whoops. Okay. <laughs> and we were talking about wanting to say yes and not having enough time or energy to do all the things and having to decide which of those things it makes sense to pass on. So I've been playing around with the um, like a methodology for how to make those decisions. Because if I use like my gut reaction, like, well, is this something that I want to do? Of course, the answer is going to be yes, in a lot of these cases. Um, and even if I ask myself, well, do I have time for that? Right? My inclination is to say, well, I'll make time. So what I was playing with last week is making a list of um, the things I'm committed to in priority order. So saying, okay, um, well, this contributes to, you know, my um, work with fearless living. So where is that on my list of commitments and priorities? And using it that way. Um, and again, it, you know, it was really challenging to actually be able to say, you know, I just, like, I have to say no, like, I'm still getting to that no part. <laughs> um, so a perfect example, last Monday, hopped on my first Inspire Hour, and then my boss sent me a message that was like, urgent, can we jump on a call? We need to get this done by end of day. Um, and so we were on the call when it was time to come back to the hour. And I was like, okay, well, I've said that like work is a higher priority. So I have to like, and it, it killed me like the whole night. I was like beside myself because I was like, you know, and plus I use my action hours to say, okay, if nothing else, I have three hours every week that I can work on my business. So, you know, so it's like that balance and I'm really struggling to find the right balance and the right gauge to say, yes or no 
or yes sir not right now any thoughts so with work is it work time or is this your off time right now or is that a gray line with what you do um stop so technically <laughs> my work time is until the end of this hour right so if you okay. think about working like a nine to five but there's some flexibility because um you know, I tend to work more than 40 hours. So I'm like, hey, if I want to start early on Monday. So that's what I was doing. And, um, and it worked out well, because it was wrapping up with the then um, MC hour, which I actually have to make a note to put that on my calendar for Wednesday, because I totally spaced it last Wednesday until I saw um, the note back that there was the recording. I thought, crap, that moved to Wednesday. Um, so yes and no, but I do feel like work often cuts into my time, like in general. Um, and I am trying to hold some boundaries there, but that's hard. Yeah, you are practicing the holding those, that's actually one of my affirmations um, is uh, creating and upholding boundaries, where is it? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm working towards creating and upholding boundaries for myself and my world. Yeah, and when I, so like last week so what i did towards the end of last week which worked well um there were a couple days where i knew i had something that was before five so like on thursday i had a call that started at 4 30 and i told like people at work okay i have this other thing at 4 30 and then i'll check in afterwards but like i'm gonna be out of pocket so i feel like like they're flexible when they know it's happening um and i've communicated it and there are some times where they're just not flexible right something like, urgent so, so right it's like and it's always like name dropping it's like so oh. and so needs this today so then you're mm -hmm. like, eh. <laughs> i know how that goes <laughs> so you know that's where i struggle with work um but in general and then you know like with the timing piece it's also being realistic about how much time things take me um because sometimes i'll be like oh that'll be quick i can totally do that and the reality is it's not quick um so, something that just came to mind is do you have um have you created boundaries around like your creation time like your inspiration time your business time. What is that? What do those things look like? No. And so okay. I've noticed that when it comes to like what I want, <laughs> that's always last. And that's why, and this was the first time when I created the list of priorities, I, for the first time, put my health at the top of the list, mm -hmm. which I had not done before. Um, and I'm really good. Um, at honoring that time because like if i have a doctor's appointment like i gotta go you know mm -hmm. uh, and those things are on my work calendar so um but then if it's just you know if i'm feeling tired or i just you know like um just don't feel well or, that's where i tend to be like, oh, I'll just, you know, rest and work. And it's like, <laughs> that's not really a thing. <laughs> it's not really a thing. It just it's like me I think say all the right things to myself. <laughs> yep. And now we need to match those with what we do, right? Yeah. That is the balance. And I talked about this um, months ago in one of the action hours and I said something about balance and I got eaten alive. They were like, there's no balance. And I was like, okay, I, I'm going to bake on this idea and I'm going to bring it back to talk about what that really looks like. Because I think, I mean, balance is something that's always in motion. Yeah. 
So. And what's really interesting is I was talking to someone last week and she said, which was brilliant, if you put something like that out into the universe, like you say what your priorities are, what you're committed to, that kind of stuff, the universe will give you opportunities to prove that. Mm -hmm. So it's your actions that actually show what you're committed to. And that was like mind blowing. Cause she was like, based on your actions, like what are you telling the universe is your priority? And I was like, not me. <laughs> but we're at the top of the hour so we were talking before about um you know how do you decide what to say yes to when you feel like you want to say yes to everything <laughs> and just have to be realistic about your time and energy um and i was starting to think about the, you know, because I was talking about how the reason that I love to have the three action hours is that I know that I have three hours, right? I got my three 40 minute chunks where like I could um, create an intention for those, like always work on my business or something like that. So then I was thinking about other places where I could do that, where I could carve out time and, you know, be like, okay, well, this is my creative time, right? And then if someone, asks me if I want to do something that fits into that bucket of like creative, then as long as it fits within my creative time. Um, that that's so a filter to say yes to. Right. So I'm thinking about that. Hmm. Like, how do I um, sort of bucketize my time? Bucketize. <laughs> and one of the things that I'm working on is, as well, is um, since I do tend to work more than is required, holding that boundary to, okay, but I've already worked, you know, like yesterday I worked an extra two hours. So like, I'm just gonna spend that time doing something else on another day when normally I would be working and fitting that in like at lunchtime or so the, the wheels are turning. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I like, I like putting things in. So, so when you were talking about that, what I was thinking about for my, my experience is like, I tend to put things on my Google calendar and actually like hold space for things that I want. And so it's not things that are actually happening a lot of times, but it's something I'm working towards. So like, <clears throat> Example is um, a parenting, a positive solutions parenting course that I have that I was um, intentionally placing on my calendar three nights a week for 15 minutes for my husband and I to do together. And when it wouldn't happen, like it was to build up to it. So I'd actually hold space for it to know, like, I want something for us to be having 15 minutes three times a week and moving in the energy of what I, you know, what's, what's there. And that's something that has helped me like focus on where I want to spend my time and energy, um, and what I say yes to. Um, so I like where you're going with like specifics of what that looks like for you. Well, because then I was thinking, even if I just like call it like number of hours or, you know, like this day is dedicated to this or whatever, if that's my intention and I'm putting it out there, but I'm not following through, then, you know, that's sort of telling the universe I'm not serious about it. So then there's that added accountability now of being like, well, crap, I said I was going to do it. And you know, that bitch is watching. <laughs> <laughs> And she's going to yeah. be like, oh, what are you doing now? Um, and I was really hesitant to do something like that before because I'm like, no, but if I feel like I want to paint, then I'm just going to paint. Um, so understanding, you know, how to, how to be structured, but leave some breathing room, right? Yeah. Well, that's exactly what the action hours do for us, right? Yeah. They 
have built in structure and freedom in there. You can actually use the 40 minutes for whatever the heck you want. Yeah. And we decide what we're creating in that space. So yeah, find, find what that is for you and, you know, use the structure and the freedom to make your creative time or make it whatever it is. I've done that with, um, even like the decide hour, I had that in my calendar as the space for journaling and think tanking and um, writing my healthy headspace posts and sharing them um, because the timing worked and it was the decide hour. So I was deciding, you know, what is coming out of my head and like taking a view from there. And it's just that designated time that I've decided I want to create around that energy at that time. And then, you know, it doesn't always happen, but um, it's, it's there so that I can be reminded that that's really what I, you know, want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. And then I think it's just putting pen to paper and just sort of like writing down some of these thoughts. Cause the other one that I thought of was um, trying to, as much as possible, break from the habit of multitasking. Because I could be doing four things at once. And I'm like, this is not helpful. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, so really having that dedicated time and also that like transition time, right? Where I'm not just always jumping from one thing to the next thing. I actually have time to, um, time to transition. Yeah. That processing time. <clears throat> That's something, um, I definitely was having a conversation recently in the last couple of days about that. Um, and I have somebody at my door. Um, so, but processing and um, having that time to like go through like the shutdown or the transition point, like you said, but even, even like when um, like going for a walk or going, I mentioned that to some, one of my friends that I was talking to now that um, it was like, I'll go walk and get the mail to just get some fresh air and like shift my energy to kind of close out, you know, one energy into whatever I'm going into next, but like yeah. something little like that. Yeah. Listen to your song, dance, you know, whatever it is to like, yeah, do a quick recharge. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to, and I think what helps is when I have a list of things. So if I, you know, like in the moment, sometimes it's hard, but if I brainstorm a list of like things I can do to transition, right? And sometimes it's just like playing with the dogs or, you know, to your point, walking outside, actually looking outside and seeing what the weather is. <laughs> and I noticed that like, because I work from home, sometimes it's like, I don't leave my house for days and I don't even realize it. And it's like, it all just kind of blends together. Like, I don't know what day it is. <laughs> but I did notice today, which was interesting. I saw my clock, like I looked at the clock at 3.33, 4.44, and 5.55 today. So I'm doing something right. I don't know what it is. <laughs> and we're at the top of the hour, so.